let the peace, love, and blessing of the Almighty God be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. Christ was not crucified on Friday. Everlasting gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth, leader Olumba Olumba Obu, the supernatural teacher. First lesson, St. Matthew chapter 16, verse 21. From that time forth began Jesus to show unto his disciples how that he must go unto Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised again the third day. Second lesson, St. John chapter 2 verse 19. Jesus answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up. Golden text. St. Matthew chapter 12 verse 40. For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Quote, It is said that by the words of your mouth you are condemned or justified. Our Lord Jesus Christ said that he would go to Jerusalem where he would be tormented, tortured, condemned, and finally killed. He said further that he would Rise on the third day. I want everybody to be in complete silence so that the wax in your ears may be removed and your bad eyesight due to spiritual blindness may be restored. As you read this gospel, all your encumbrances are taken away and you are fully liberated. It is, it is pathetic to notice that the whole Christendom have lied to the world that our Lord Jesus Christ was crucified on Friday. But our Lord Jesus Christ is the truth and his words are true. It is also absolutely false to construe that our Lord Jesus Christ was nailed to the cross on Friday. This claim has no substance and lacks the biblical foundation and backing. Many people have been to Bible colleges or theological schools and seminaries all in quest of studying religions and the Bible. Some have been to India, the United States of America, Russia and other places to study the Bible for 20 to 30 years. If they still hold to the argument that Friday was the first day and Saturday the second day, what about the third day? The Orthodox churches keep on shouting, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. But they find it difficult to know when he was crucified. The knowledge of when our Lord Jesus Christ was crucified as eluded the entire world. The significance of the Wednesday watch and pray started during the time the feet of the disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ were washed. The Thursday's weekly fasting and prayers symbolized the day he was condemned at 6 a.m. and at precisely 9 a.m. the same day he was crucified. I thank Matthew and John and a few other apostles who were able to document the teachings and the crucial events during the mission of our Lord Jesus Christ. If these records were not kept, the enemies of our Lord Jesus Christ could have succeeded in suppressing the truth. And of course, the truth would not have been known. They would have permanently established their deceit and falsehood in the world for their own advantage. God's words are sacrosanct. 
Our Lord Jesus the Christ had said that heaven and earth will pass away, but not an iota of the word of God shall pass away. The word of God is not deficient in power. That is why when the word of God is spoken, it will do mighty works and can break mighty stones to manifest its purpose. From Genesis to Malachi, the words prophesied about him have been consummated. Our Lord Jesus Christ had said that as Jonas, the fifth of the minor prophets, was in the belly of the whale for three days and three nights, so shall the Son of God be in the heart of the earth for three days and three nights. He said, I have many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now. Albeit when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. Our Lord Jesus Christ was arrested and arraigned before the elders, Pharisees, scribes, and the chief priests at 3 a.m. on Wednesday. That is Thursday morning. This was after the Last Supper he had arranged for that night. According to the Jews, from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. was one day. And from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. was calculated as one night. It stands to reason that from 6 a.m. on Thursday morning to 6 p.m. on the same Thursday was one day. And from 6 p.m. on Thursday evening to 6 a.m. on Friday morning was calculated as one night. In the same vein, from 6 a.m. on Friday to 6 p.m. of that day was two days. Similarly, from 6 p.m. on Friday to 6 a.m. on Saturday, made up two nights. From 6 a.m. on Saturday to 6 p.m. of the same day completed the three days. And from 6 p.m. on Saturday evening to 6 a.m. on Sunday morning concluded the three nights. This is the veritable truth which had eluded the world. The spoken words of our Lord Jesus Christ have materialized and those who believe in all these truths are saved and all those inexplicable teachings are wiped away. The significance of watch and pray. That is why we in Brotherhood of the Cross and Star do not joke with the Wednesday watch and pray and the love feast which often follows the divine observance. The celebration reflects his acceptance and readiness to die that humanity might be salvaged with his stainless blood. The Jews and the scribes once asked why his disciples never fasted like the rest of the people, our Lord Jesus Christ told them that it was not necessary for his disciples to do so when the bridegroom was with them. That is why it is declared that those who believe fervently in him are saved. I want you to observe these Wednesdays, watch and pray from now till eternity. As many as will observe it, their problems are wiped away. If you observe all these things as spelled out in today's gospel, you are saved. And all your problems are taken away. I have other sheep which are not of this fold. They all must be brought in so that there might be one fold and one shepherd. Our Lord Jesus Christ had finished his works. And he, and the ball is now in the court of the people of the world. 
to observe the three significant events in brotherhood. Who are those that are clad in white garments? They are those who have come out from great tribulations and have washed their clean and have washed clean by the blood of the Lamb who takes away the sins of the world. The three days, 72 hours, dry fasting is the great cleansing exercise in this new kingdom. The watch and pray is one of the events observed in respect of the death of our Lord Jesus Christ. We who suffer with him and are tortured along with him are fully liberated from the bondage of evil. Those observances, these observances reaffirm our belief in him. This is also the enabling factor which by his grace salvage us. We are also glorified with him. Why brother of the cross and star hold three Pentecostal meetings in a year? The epic Pentecostal is significant in that it symbolizes the period of our Lord Jesus Christ suffered untold hardship, torment and death just for the atonement of the sins of mankind. It is a period to celebrate the three essences of his mission, torture, death and resurrection. In the same vein, the August Pentecostal Assembly commemorates the period when our Lord Jesus Christ was baptized and revealed to the entire world by John the Baptist. That is why the observance is so significant. It was then that he was exposed to the Jewish nation and the entire world for acknowledgement and, identi and, and, and identification as the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of mankind. Hitherto, he had been in the world for 29 years, but they knew him not until he got baptized at the age of 30 years. That is why we usually rejoice greatly in the commemoration of his revelation through water baptism. We observe the December Pentecostal in remembrance of his divine birth. Had he not been born of a woman, he would not have been revealed as the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. If he had not been revealed, he would not have died and shed his precious blood for the remissions of the sins of humanity. It is axiomatic, therefore, that where there are those who investigate and ask questions, there must be also a person around to give answers to such questions. This can be likened to a lingering cough that would not leave its victim. The Zairians, the Liberians, the Americans, the Russians, the Europeans, the Germans, and the rest of you might have asked why the three Pentecostal assembly meetings are held. Our Lord Jesus Christ must be glorified. As was written in the Bible, he must be glorified with activities featuring songs, dancing, testimonies and recitations in sober reflection of the real essence of observance of these spectacular and historic events in the life of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. While doing this, such worldly tendencies as beating of drums, burning of candles and incenses, and the pouring of perfume should be avoided. His name can better be glorified and lauded without the use of all these things. The spirit of truth has come to unfold all things for the salvation of mankind. Some people are saying that it does not matter. To assume such a position is wrong. This is a unique and important matter which borders on the foundation of the Christian faith, life and salvation of humanity. 
So it is wrong to treat the matter so lightly. The calculation from Friday will result in two days and two nights, during which time our Lord Jesus Christ would still have been in the heart of the earth. This is wrong, and we cannot compromise or condone this satanic and misleading assumption. I am opposed to any falsehood in the world, including the Jesus Christ dead saga. The calculation is misleading. The case of his birthday, which had been fixed for convenience, could be tolerable. But for the death upon which the salvation and the generality of mankind depends, nobody should toy or falsify it on any account. I will not allow any false doctrine to be spread again in the world. And it is against this background that I am saying that nothing should be added or subtracted at all in this case. It is said that if a tree does not fall, the axe shall not rest. God is true and all his actions are true and just. This should help us to realize that his words sooner or later must be fulfilled. Did our Lord Jesus Christ not say that every plant which my heavenly Father had not planted shall be uprooted? That is why all false and misleading observance of his death and other issues must be crushed. His death is the foundation which must be celebrated with pomp and joy. His death has been the last covenanted arrangement and that was why he said it is finished as he followed his precious as he allowed his precious blood to be spilled for the atonement of the sins of men this supreme sacrifice superseded other sacrifices of goats sheep or rams and has wiped away all sins to this end. Nobody has the right to impute sins on other people. The sin of Adam had condemned the entire human race to death, but this unique and supreme sacrifice has come to redeem humanity from bondage and the clutches of evil. Therefore, if anyone says he suffers for anyone's sake, he is a blatant liar. It is our Lord Jesus Christ who had really and truly suffered for all mankind. It therefore becomes absolutely reasonable that Wednesdays and Thursdays should be regarded as holy days and must be set aside for the observances of these historic events. A stroke of the cane is sufficient for the wise. Those who have ears to hear, let them hear. May God bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.